Now, the main genre that I'm going to be referring to is fighting games and arena fighters, which also include anime arena fighters. Um, the foundation this is kind of going to be built on is why skills aren't being respected and how come companies mainly Capcom decided to take that route for future video games but if we're going to talk about how is it that video games and fighting games in particular have become seem like they've become trash over the years there's actually a legitimate reason for that um, I'm not saying that it's an excusable reason in my opinion but I understand why it happened and in order for us to talk about it we have to bring up we have to bring up the 09s, right? Now, for people who don't understand what 09 is, 09 is a term that refers to the year 2009. I mean, obviously, but more importantly, the the, the fighting game community, uh, pro players for Street Fighter 4. You see. Street Fighter 4, I believe it came out in 08. By the time 2009 came around, the tournament scene for Street Fighter 4 seemed like a new influx of players, right? And they kind of came out of nowhere, you know, and they was kind of dominating things like that. But this is also the first time we've really seen what they call revenge mechanics being used in fighting games such as Street Fighter uh where as you lose as you lose health you gain something so when you look at street fighter 4 right one of the things they featured well two of the things that they featured was a super meter and an ultra meter which is basically like a more powerful version of the super and as you're fighting yeah the the ultra meter fills up a little bit when you're doing damage but you fill it up, it fills up more when you take damage. You see, revenge mechanics but in the game to give the person that is losing a fighting chance against the person that's winning, winning. Or rather, give the person that's winning something to worry about when originally, if you was getting your ass whipped in a, in a fighting game, such as Street Fighter, any time before this, that's just what it was. So, a lot of the people who were playing in, in the professional scene or playing Street Fighter before, Street Fighter 4, when they seen this influx of people, and it's not just a pro tournament scene, it's just, you know, casual players, regular online people, you've seen this influx of Street Fighter players, and the term kind of, the term 09 kind of became about that, because they a lot of people felt they were responsible as for why the quality of fighting games got diminished because once they started coming in at that time it's like the way people looked at it it was like they these people waited for street fighter to have these mechanics in it in order to be a part of it whereas before you're like you couldn't depend on that. So it's like they needed a crutch in order to be quote unquote good. So anytime you hear somebody getting referred to as 09, it's basically like, basically just calling them a bitch. <laughs> and uh, and I, I can be honest with you, like the people who were calling others 09s, they had somewhat of an elitist attitude, but it wasn't without merit. I mean, you gotta think about it. If you have been playing a fighting game franchise, such as Street Fighter, for like decades, 
decades, right? And I'm talking about since Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2 Turbo or during that era. If you was if you've been playing Street Fighter since that long, and you you know, you practice your skills, you've honed your, your you know, like your muscle memory with a certain character. And then for them, you know, you didn't have to worry about all of these supers and focus attacks and all these other things that came along with the game that gave uh, somebody who wasn't as good at the core game itself an advantage. Like they couldn't just spam something. Now all of a sudden you have people that are just too, they're, they're too keen on intentionally losing a match getting an ultra and their supers up and just spamming the shit back to back out of nowhere you know it gets to the point where it's like damn am I losing to a skillful person or am I losing because they designed the game to be worse than previous installments and when you think about that you really have to turn to um, well, what I call Scrub Fighter Five. It's it's Street Fighter Five, but I call it Scrub Fighter Five for a very legitimate reason. Capcom, around the time of uh, Scrub Fighter Five, made. Uh, I wish I could have found that post. I'm like I'm walking, so I've, obviously I can't edit on the fly. But they made a post where, or rather, they made an announcement that they were trying to look to. to to uh, close the skill gap, right? Because anytime you look at, you know, uh, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, even Street Fighter 2, the foreign players always had, it seemed like an advantage or like a, a skill advantage over American players. So they felt like it was needed to... Um, to dumb down the game or intentionally put in a bad mechanic or design the game in a flawed way so that everybody had to worry about the exact same thing. So what they did in Street Fighter V, uh, well, Scrub Fighter V, um, they intentionally put an input delay. I think when the game launched, it was like 6.5 frames of lag. Um... For people that don't understand frames, just think about it like like six milliseconds of when your button is pushed versus when the action is actually done in the game. Now, six milliseconds don't seem like a lot, but in fighting game terms, in, in fighting game terms, that is a lot of time. Um... It's really a lot of time. Because when they, it, it, I mean, this, this goes from defending, attacking, um, counterattacking. So you got to imagine, not being able to do what you want at the moment you want to do it is very costly to somebody who's, you know, played the game or play that franchise a lot, or play fighting games in general. You want to be able to attack at a moment's notice. When you see your opponent do something that leaves them wide open, you have a chance to counterattack, but then you push the button, and the actual input comes out later than what you intended, you can miss an opportunity, an opportunity to punish, and sometimes that can cost you the game. So when you have the developers or the company intentionally putting in uh, elements like that, you can see why a lot of people can't look at someone who started in Street Fighter 5, hell, and even some cases Street Fighter 4, and respect them. But this all goes into why video games and fighting games in particular seem trash.